My name is Jim Cook and I'm the plant manager of the Westinghouse Blairsville facility in Pennsylvania. We are a leading supplier of nuclear grade zirconium alloy tubing, which are components to fuel assemblies that Westinghouse produces for customers across the world. Delivering the nuclear promise, what that means to me, is first and foremost for this plant, it means having a strong, healthy nuclear safety culture. We are a supplier of fuel clad, which means that we are the primary defense, the first line of defense to protect public safety. And the people that work here understand and respect their role in, in meeting that need. We continue to drive innovation with that, that safety culture at the core to deliver value to our customers. And, and that in turn helps Westinghouse and the, its customers to bring that safe, reliable, clean energy you know, to enrich the lives of, of people around the world. My name is Rod Berrios. I'm a design civil engineer for Entergy at Riverbend Station, and I've been working there four and a half years. To me, delivering the nuclear promise is a call to arms of sorts. Political and economic factors have forced the nuclear industry to either adapt or die. And I think in order to do that, we need to show the country that we can adapt and still be the safest, most reliable, cleanest form of energy at a competitive price. The nuclear promise is our commitment to the country that we, are, we need to be and we're going to be part of the energy future. My name is Charlotte Shields. I have been in the nuclear industry for 15 years and currently I am the operations training department leader at the nation's largest power producer. Delivering the nuclear promise is important to me. The people in the nuclear industry are like family, literally. My brother works here and I met my husband while I was on shift as a reactor operator and we we're having a blast raising our children together. But we live in the desert southwest and it gets hot. So it's important to keep the lights on and the air conditioning running, especially when it's 120 degrees outside. <laughs> I'm Stephen Cole, and I'm the Behavioral Based Safety Facilitator at Wolf Creek. Here at Wolf Creek, we're helping to drive down costs to fulfill the nuclear promise by having a plant that works safely. When you have a thousand people actively engaged in the observation process, you have a thousand people who are looking at each other and sending each other home at the end of the day safely. A safe plant is a cost-effective plant and that's what it takes to succeed in our industry.